Hey, what's going on all you 1010 Audio Black Box users? My name is uh, 202. I love to do sound design, uh, mixing and engineering, and I love my black box. This weekend, NAM 2020 came, uh, they introduced the Akai uh, new, the MPC-1. It's a new standalone thing and it, it got me thinking. What about the black box? The black box is so much better for uh, the particular user who is trying to sequence and write songs and or uh, take their sound design and sequence and write songs and uh, put things together. So kind of pre-production um, music. And, and, and in comparison to the, well, uh, what looks like in comparison to the new MPC, one, which is trying to go to the more production route, trying to be a standalone DAW, um, but with less features than your uh, computer-based DAWs, uh, and hinting at uh, being what the black box does, a, a uh, sequencer, drum machine, kind of all-in-one thing. But it just, it, it got me thinking, geez, the black box is so superior in, in many ways. If you're like me, you're a, a, a sound designer and engineer who wants to take the ideas that are on the DAW and put them somewhere that you can do from your couch and then later go to the DAW and uh, have the luxury of all the VSTs and uh, the um, your outboard gear and all, all the other stuff that goes with goes with uh, making a song, right? So even though the MPC one comes off as uh, amazing in concept, for us who've been in music a long time and are kind of higher skilled, uh, we have a lot of outboard gear. Uh, shoot, our audio interface alone uh, is going to be at a higher quality uh, and be more expensive than the whole of the MPC. Not to mention uh, the form factor is cool, but the black box. You know, I, I do from my couch. I can I can uh, uh, put any MIDI controller, or I can make a whole beat uh, from my couch. And what I love about it now, per 2020, is you can make a uh, multi-track uh, sampled instruments on your own. So you could take your sound design instruments, or your synths, or your uh, any um, kind of standalone gear, and you could uh, sample it into the black box and make it an instrument. So I wanted to de demonstrate that today, how to do it on the black box because uh, it definitely doesn't have the software uh, intuitiveness as a an MPC does. MPCs are dope. Don't get me wrong. I have I've had I have and have had many, but I tend to have the kind of the older MPCs. I like the MPC one thousand, um, but the black box just is just so much different for uh, a producer like me who's just looking to uh, get away from the computer, have some fun, uh, arrange uh, um, um, some music um, in a different format, and and just play around on the couch, man, and just do write down my ideas on the couch, um, and truly have no worries about the size because the, the black box is just so stinking small. Even with the battery, um, you know, if you got one of those portable batteries, you know what I'm talking about. Still so, so uh, convenient to do from the couch or uh, wherever your place of comfort is, um, the coffee shop doesn't take up the whole table or anything like that. Literally can take it anywhere and make uh, just as good a song as any, any other uh, standalone device um, in its price range. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a multi-instrument, multi-sampled instrument uh, with this cool little uh, vintage piano I made. Uh, you'll, you'll see it and I'll post it on uh, the forum and you can have it for yourself. Um, and then maybe you'll learn something and be able to make your own instruments and we can all just share our instruments here on this forum. All right, so make your instruments. Um, my tutorial today is gonna be using Fruity Loops. Um, the key to making a multi-sampled instrument is having, uh, being able to write on the WAV file uh, or whatever you're sampling in, in the metadata, uh, the root notes, and the information you need so that when the black box takes it in, it can automatically load to the right keys uh, from the metadata, right? So you can do that from the black box, but if you're like me, you've got a lot of just instruments on, on your computer 
that you want to, uh, or on your outboard gear, you have actual instruments and you want to uh, do all the sound design on the DAW with all the, all the gizmos and gadgets, the preamps and, and, and the, the, um, and the VSTs and, uh, the, uh, uh, the analog, the analog processors or whatever, you want to sound design your, those instruments and get the samples perfect and then sample, uh, you know, uh, seven to however many keys you want to do. I usually do, you know, C, D, E, F, G all the way through, I could get a basic seven keys. Um, and then I'll dump that into, um, a multi-sampled instrument on the black box. That way I get a good, uh, representation of the instrument I'm sampling. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna use Fruity Loops because Fruity Loops has uh, the ability through um, the Edison editor to write in on the WAV file the metadata that's needed so that Blackbox can read it um, and go from there. On the forums, you'll see uh, one of the one of the forum pros recommends uh, a program called Sample Robot. I tried downloading last night. It was like 200 bucks. I was like, eh, I got, if I had Fruity Loops for like 20 years, it's, uh, it's been free for life. I don't even know how much they are now. I think it's like, a, I think it's like a hundred dollar program. It's super, but it's cheaper than that for sure. Um, and, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's simple. It's very simple to create the metadata that I need for my samples. So come with me and let's make, uh, a multi-sampled instrument. Sorry for the ghetto uh, hand recording with the phone, but I just wanted to let you know. So here's all the sound design. Uh, lo -fi, I made a lo-fi piano and here's all the keys I sampled. I'm gonna just take seven of them and uh, write in the metadata in Fruity Loops and I'm gonna show you how, how I do it. So right now I'm gonna take the F5 piano. I'm gonna load it into a sampler on FL Studio. So here's a sample channel right here. I'm gonna make sure the BPM and everything is at the sample BPM I made, recorded the instrument in um, or designed. And then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna edit. It's gonna pop up this little Edison editor. From there, we're gonna go to Format, Edit Properties. From those properties, you're gonna type in the information. I gave it a title, uh, chose my sample rates, chose my BPM, chose the root notes, and this is the key right here is making all the root notes, uh, the, all the notes the same, so then when the metadata um, is just smooth across the board, at least that's how I do it. Um, as long as you have this root note, you should be cool, but I like to do it across the board for the low and the high, so that when it goes into the black box, I know it's going into the right uh, uh, key. Um, so there we go. I'm going to hit accept right here. Boom. It is now done. You can now export the song or file save as. You'll save it to the little micro SD that you put in the black box. In this case, I'm going to do this lo-fi piano. I'm going to save it right there onto the micro SD card. There we go. All right, so here I am creating my lo-fi piano. I have sampled seven keys and there's some key uh, root files you need in order for the black box to read uh, your keys correctly. So what you wanna do is go to your uh, another, another one of these, you'll need an ALS file and a project file. You'll need to copy one of those and then rename them to the uh, the file you were making now. That's the key is ha having that. So in my scenario, I made a lo-fi piano two, copied and paste, and a lo-fi piano two a a a ALS. I just renamed it. Boom, boom. Now, for our purposes today, I'm gonna give you these uh, for free to download, but you'll have to make sure you paste them onto the main directory when, on your SD card when you get it. But for now, 
I'm gonna put it all in one file for you so you can uh, have it all and be set. So here we go. You're welcome. All right, so here we got the black box. I've loaded in the uh, 128 gig uh, micro SD, which is just gets me, uh, just, I find hilarious. Go to your preset. You'll find the pack I made. Lo-fi piano. Remember, you have to take those files. You have to put them on the um, on the main directory. Uh, those two files I was telling you about: the ALS file and then the um, the project file. The it's, I think it's an XML file. As long as those are on there, if this will show up. You'll hit load. There will be your uh, lo-fi key right there. Um, it don't matter because here's what you're gonna do. This is the key. You're gonna go right here. You're gonna uh, load the file. All the little samples I've made are gonna be right there. You're gonna hit file. You're gonna load all. Boom, you're all set. Go back to preset, file, save. And then you're good to go. And if you wanna change any other data, you can. You can uh, change the MIDI. I have it set to MIDI channel one, ADSR. Here's how I have it. The main, I have a, ooh, we wanna, sh let's change it to gate. I have found gate to be the better. So preset and file, save. Boom, there you go. And enjoy the file and enjoy the, oh wait, you can't hear it, I don't have it plugged in. Uh, let me plug it in so you can hear uh, what it sounds like. So there you have it. That's how you make a multi-sampled instrument of your own, uh, from your own, just from scratch. All I did was sample an old uh, Mellotron, uh, well, actually, just, I, I sampled a VST Mellotron, I should probably be more exact, but I ran it through a bunch of uh, uh, VSTs, and I actually ran it through um, a transformer. Um, and a uh, preamp that I like. So it has a real, it should have a really cool tone. I think you'll like this instrument, play it. Uh, if you want me to make more, I'll make more. Um, I'll post this on my YouTube channel, uh, make a donation. For every 50 bucks I get, I'll make a new instrument and I'll post them on. I'll post a whole multi-sampled uh, instrument and I'll add, even add more keys if I get um, a decent amount of money, more than the seven notes. Um, and I'll just keep on adding more instruments, um, as many as you guys want to uh, pay me for. But otherwise, uh, if you if you can do it on your own, great. Let's uh, let's uh, make instruments for each other uh, too. Um, I'd love that too to start kind of a message board where people are doing exactly this through their own uh, uh, metadata writing software, whether it's Sample Robot or. Um, MPC 2.0. I tried it on Studio One, the uh, the sampler, and I couldn't figure out how to write the metadata on there. But 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 it is possible, as far as I understand. I just couldn't figure it out. Uh, it wasn't as intuitive as the uh, FL Studio was. So that's why this is, tutorial was on the FL Studio. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this lo-fi piano I made, and this answers a crucial uh, a crucial thing that the black box offers a uh, true instruments on the couch to be made in any way you want. Um, and with uh, the sky's the limit. If you're a sound designer um, like me who likes to just write songs on the couch and have fun um, and not worry about the production because that is for a studio setting um, and a little higher end uh, equipment is needed for that kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, much love. Peace.